Hello guys, this is JNM with an answer to a request I got. Somebody wanted to know how to create foliage for Unreal Engine. Well, I stumbled upon the Megascans webpage recently and here are some free downloads for foliage that I will use in this tutorial. You can click this and download and you get the albedo, bump map, normal map, roughness, opacity, translucency, all these textures. Here you can see them in my folder and then I create a new Blender project. For modeling the foliage parts, you can use a background image and I add this preview that is included in the download. Snap the view to see the background image and now I'm going to add a plane to create a shape for my foliage. Ok, here's the plane, then press R, then Y to rotate around the Y axis 90 degrees. Press the Z key and switch to wireframe mode and then always extrude out new parts in edit mode to create the shape for the foliage. Press S to scale the edges just to create a shape that looks like this foliage part. For this demonstration I will create just a rough shape. Yeah, that's okay, that's good enough. And now select all the faces, press A to select them all, then U and unwrap. Ok, now open the UV image editor and load in this preview image for texture mapping. Here is the unwrapped shape and now I rotate, move and scale it to map it to this texture. Alright, now we can close the image editor and create a new material. I will call this Material Foliage. Ok, next part. Now we are going to open the node editor to create all the nodes for our material. I need to include the texture and the material should support transparency. So let's see, this is the default, the diffuse shader. And now I'm going to add the image texture, the preview image that we used for modeling. But what I create here is not the end result for the foliage that we use in Unreal Engine. Because I will continue to add many of these leaves to one bigger foliage to a plant, that I'm going to export as FBX, but let's come to this later on. Now for the transparency. To have a transparent material in Cycles, I need a transparent shader. And now I will mix these two shaders, the transparent and the diffuse, and this can be done by using a mix shader. Plug this in here. and connect them. Ok, now let's have a look at the render preview here on the right side. I set this to rendered and you can see it is not transparent, it is still grey. But when I plug here the alpha output to the factor of the mix shader, the background will be transparent. Ok, now let's use this one object we created and combine it to a bigger plant. So first bring it to the center and after that I will switch to edit mode and use move and rotate to kind of bend this object. I always select some edges of this model and use rotate 
and moving with proportional editing enabled to bend this object. Okay, and now I press Shift D to duplicate this, then R, constrain it to the Z axis and rotate the duplicated part. Then I change the shape a little bit so that every part that I copied looks a bit different, just to get some variations for the resulting plant. So that's the approach for creating this foliage, it is really just for demonstration. Now let's render this to have a preview how the plant will look like in the end. And when I'm happy with my foliage model I will select all the sub objects and join them to one. Just press Ctrl J after you selected them. Ok, and now I will scale this down, apply the scale and then export this object as FBX. Now let's drag all the parts that I need, the FBX and the textures, to a folder of my Unreal Engine project. Ok, here it is, the FBX importer notices that there is an FBX to import. So let's do this, press import. And also the textures are imported and the material, the material for the foliage. Now you can already drag the foliage model into the scene. But of course the material has to be edited. In the material editor all the textures have to be assigned. But before I do this let me open up the roughness texture because this has to be defined as mask. And then this sRGB flag is also set to false, which is correct. Let's save this and have a look at the normal map. For this one also the sRGB has to be disabled. Ok, everything correct and now we can open up the material editor and create our foliage material. Ok, the first thing we need is the albedo texture. So let's add a texture sample node and add the albedo texture to it. This is the normal map. I want this albedo, here it is, and then I connect the albedo output to the base color. Okay, one important thing that I want to point out here is that your material has to be defined as surface, masked, two-sided foliage and the two-sided flag has to be set to true. Now let's import all the textures one by one. You can duplicate this texture sample node by pressing Ctrl W. Then load the opacity mask and connect it to this slot.
And here you can see that the material preview already displays the opacity. Alright, next one again duplicate and this one will be the normal map. Connect it to normal and continue with the next texture sample. And again copy, it is always the same process, really simple. Copy the node, assign the texture and connect it to the appropriate pin. This one is the translucency and we connect it to the subsurface color. Now the last one is the roughness. Okay, here we go and connect it to the roughness pin. And that's it for the textures. But there's another cool feature in Unreal Engine and this is to let the foliage wave in the wind. And therefore we use a simple grass wind node and connect it here to the world position offset. This node needs three parameters. The first one is a constant and defines the wind intensity. And the next parameter is the wind height and you can assign a texture coordinate or a vertex color to this. With that parameter, I will use the vertex color green for example, you can define which parts are affected here by the wind and you can create some nice variations. Alright, the last one is some, I think, additional world position offset data. We don't need this now, so I will use an empty vector 3 constant. Okay, we are done, so let's have a look at the game and see our foliage in action. Yeah, quite nice. Of course you could get better results when creating a more elaborated mesh, but for this short tutorial I really think this is acceptable. Guys, I hope you find this video useful. And if you do, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel to not miss a future tutorial. And perhaps you think about supporting me on my Patreon, this would really help. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.